Hi, this is Kubo. Welcome to this like sort of review first impression. So I got this recently. This is called like an the Impact 3D printed sling box, which uh, as you can see it's a button box which is inspired by the hitbox line of um, of controllers made specifically for fighting games. With the slim in the in, in the name being representative of how uh, how slim it is, as you can see, this is made to be. Uh, yep, this this has some advantages such as it's uh, extremely portable and you can uh, just set it on the on the on your desk, which is what I'm doing right right now. I can have it really at the same level as the the keyboard I have here on my PC, with on which I. Uh, play my fighting games most of the time so this is made for by a company named uh, Savior Games an Italian company and this is a uh, everything seems to be a uh, 3D printed from the box to the to the buttons themselves so inside this you will find the Brook PS3 PS4 PC uh, fighting game board which uh, is a perfectly good PCB as far as far as I can tell it's like a uh, like a really fast Brook, uh, Brook product as Brook products seem, seem to be. Um, only slight disappointment I, I had in term in relation to this uh, to this box was that uh, they, they they probably couldn't fit. Uh, they, they don't make it with the Universal Fighting Board, which would have given it n native compatibility compatibility with the Nintendo Switch. Which is nothing that you can't uh, solve with something like uh, this, which I do own this May Flash adapter. It, it does work if I uh, I connect it to the to the switch like this. Same thing can also be said for the the Wingman PS2 I I own, which is also made by Brook. Funny enough, you can also get this with a PS5 uh, compatibility model, an extra like uh, piece they'll they'll put inside that makes it. Is compatible with PS5 games. Without the PS5 module, this will run you like 145 euros. With the model, it does bump that up to 2,000, uh, 199. In terms of the the buttons, so the buttons and the build quality, they're actually uh, look pretty good. They're a, a bit. I I, I was actually a, a bit. Uh, surprise with the quality of it con considering it, it's uh, 3d printed I, I really didn't know what to expect but it has like a a bit of a rough surface but like pleasantly rough you know uh, so you ha you have this button these these are actually buttons so like the starts the start selects home button the all of these are, are here on the back it doesn't have like an anti-sleep pad but also the but the roughness here on the the plastic the texture they put on it it kind of helps it not to run away from uh, from your legs if you're playing on them you can also see the the thing shining right now is like the the little little sticker they, they put to say this is a to certify that this is in, indeed broke inside and also this comes with with a USB-C cable, so the port is indeed a USB-C. You can actually customize on, on their website the colors for the buttons and the box and the cable. So I went with like a bla black and blue. I, I think there are more options on the other products they have on the site. But uh, another thing you can customize on these box are the, the switches. Like basically the buttons here, they're like... A, keyboard switches if you have the mechanical keyboard you might have seen there are uh, lots of different types of, of them so I went with red linear switches uh, the other option is like silent browns which are ever more tactile feel to, to them but I wanted linear so it just just goes down you know so if you want to try to hear it I'm gonna I don't I don't know how much this <laughs> the microphone will pick that up but if you have a mechanical keyboard it probably will feel very familiar to you one thing i uh one thing i, I did notice about this co uh, this control is that it doesn't it doesn't seem i don't know if it's my unit or something but it it doesn't seem to be completely straight it seems kind of to be kind of warped i don't know if that has 
anything to do with the 3D printing or if they uh, screwed the screws a bit too hard. Uh, it might make it feel a bit wobbly at times, which, uh, which uh, funny enough, sometimes gets fixed by just lodging the, the cable under it. But it's usually not, uh, it, it hasn't been a, a big deal so far. Another thing that I haven't been able to confirm yet, maybe if uh, if Savior Games is wa watching this, they can confirm it down in the comments. But uh, if the switches here are hot swap, for those who don't uh, don't know, hot uh, in mechanical keyboards, sometimes you can uh, take out the the mechanical switches so you can uh, try out new ones, or if for whatever reason uh, the switch stopped working, you can just remove them easily and plug in some other ones uh, I haven't tried yeah, I haven't tried to, to tell because I'm because since this is new and I didn't see any confirmation on the website I uh, I am not sure so far if this is hot if this is completely hot swap but they did strangely enough the the box did have this bag of uh, of extra keycaps and switches so I can at least show you how the the keycaps look like so here's one that uh, here's the a keycap and if you're curious here it is they have like three extra switch this is uh, one of the scale take it scale yes it is scale choco micro v1 switches so this is our low profile switches which means they are like more uh, they're tinier than usual usually uh, a bigger switch is like just double this size and it's a linear one, so you can see how it uh, how it goes. So, okay, so just to show this in the game for for a second, we have here uh, Gramble Versus. This is the, a game I, I do like a, a lot, and I am following the the hype train into the the new version, Gramble Versus Rising. So, for those who, ne who never saw an, a button box in action, so you you can move. Through these, uh, through these buttons, so the, we have here left and right, so this is just like if you would be using a WASD, you can go down here, and this big button is the jump. If this looks weird to you, for uh, if you've never seen something like this, and if this looks weird to you, just think of it like the like a space bar, like you're using the space bar to jump on a, on a shooter game or something. It's basically the same thing, and you and it allows you to uh, have one finger dedicated to each direction. So you'll play just like you'd play a normal game, but hitboxes are have been uh, have been getting a bit of a reputation because of their uh, tricks you can you can do. You can do some uh, because this is using SOCD, so there's a um, because of the way the Brook board um, computes Posing positions when uh, pressed at the same time. So, for example, left and uh, right at the same time become neutral. You can do stuff like this. So I'm just mashing right while the while keeping left, and that that makes me uh, that allows me to get faster back dashes while always be blocking between back dashes. That's a that's a little trick. I forgot if there's a name for it. Down and up actually always gives up always gives up also always uh, outputs up which can be uh, useful if you have a character that uses flash kicks so you could like uh, just use do something like this to to do your flash kicks you can also do some some uh, other other tricks like for example the dp usually you'd do like this on the 2p side but if you don't if you think it's a, a bit difficult you can also do it like this like like right and down while holding left it so quickly jump into for a different game where uh, i can show some other stuff so in games with air dashes you can actually do what's called an instant air dash i, I, I at least can do that easier on, on this controller so i just so, so I just uh, press up and uh, up and up right at the same time, and then just mash uh, right right after. Let me do this. It's just uh, very 
very quicker way of getting to the to the opponent and just with simplify the flash kick you can just do it like this without ever without ever letting go of the of the down button so so yeah that that has been my um, my introduction of this uh, controller i am uh, i'm pretty happy with it so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll be using this uh, to grind my uh, my matches online. Having a lot, a lot of fun with it, with it so far. It does remind me a bit like of playing uh, on keyboard back in the day when I was a, a kid and couldn't ha uh, couldn't get my hands on better devices. But yeah, so yeah, the, so yeah this has been Kubo, and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, this video.